Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we are doing a bit of a more creative episode after that Australian planet. I said, you know what? Why don't we do every country? And then I was like, wait, that would be 196 planets. That would be a little bit overboard. So I decided that we'd round it down to the seven different continents. Yeah, exciting. So I'm just going to pull up, like, Google Earth uh, on the side and... <laughs> Uh, let me, uh, I should have probably had that ready already. Start with Google Earth. Do, do, do. Okay, while we're waiting, let's make a new simulation. And Google Earth is opening. So I want to get this pretty accurate. And which continent will we start with? Um... Let, let's start with North America, because that's where I live, and let's just add a uh, new planet, and Rocky, and let's make this look like North America. So first off, how much water is there? Um, oh god, what just happened? That was weird, I just heard a really weird beep noise there, but that's fine. Um. Uh, there's the Great Lakes, so I guess we're going to add a bit of water, but not a ton because, you know, America is pretty much just a really big block of land. And although it's surrounded by oceans, we're kind of just including the continents, not the oceans surrounding them. So let's just... That looks about right when it comes to water. Some big lakes, but mostly land. And now we're going to go to the colors. This is where I'm going to have to be a little bit picky. So the tops of the mountains in America aren't really snow-capped except for in the east. But the big ones are in the west. So I think I'm going to go for a darker brown. Wait, are there really even browns? Here we go. A darker brown for the top of the mountains. And then the median of America is like... Oh god, this is going to come out completely wrong. <laughs> I just realized by messing with these colors, this looks so wrong. What about that? Uh, it's so hard because America is so big, the northeast looks completely different from the west. Or even just the east and west and north and south look so different. Um, going up into Canada is just dark green. And then, you know... Uh, then going down into Mexico, it gets very orange, so we're going to have to kind of balance this out. Uh, so let's leave it green, and then the bottom will go to, like, sand color-ish, maybe? This doesn't really look right, though. I mean, it looks kind of right, but I, I think there'd be more green. Um, let's try flipping this a little bit. If we do, like, a darker green... And then for the bottom, we do like. Jeez, it makes so much of a difference. Um, so bottom will do darker green, and then we'll do the top will be like. Oh, that just changed the entire thing. Um, these tools are very picky. Okay, so uh, very top dark green, brighter green, and then tan. How about that? We're just gonna have to get this as close as I can. Um, uh, oh man, it's all like mixing, so it's actually really hard to get the right color now. It's not really orange, it's more of like a tan, um, which means we're going to have to mess with this. If we make this black, actually, just as a test, because I know when it's black, you can mix the colors a little bit more easily. So let's just quickly try doing... Yeah. No, that didn't really work much at all. Okay, um... Let's do plan B. We'll just do this like we'd normally do it. So, the normal color... We may have to actually get a different planet. This, this one is a bit too flat. Um... We need a planet that has a lot of big hills so that it's kind of even, the different colors. Uh, let's do new, and random rocky planet. That looks a bit better, because we have a lot of white over here, and then we can change that white 
into the greens, like the east. And then, although I want it to be a little bit of a darker green than that, but it kind of fades out when you go dark. Um, like that. And then the area, like, so that's like Canada and the east coast of America and stuff. And then the rest, which would be the west, is, uh... I wish there was like a color picker and I could just click on like areas on the map because it's really hard to judge these colors, especially with them all blending together. That's way too yellow. There we go. That that actually looks right. Um, but I think that just drowned out all the green and it has made it look like really black. Yeah. <laughs> now it doesn't actually look very good anymore. Um, let's work with this. First off, let's change these tops to be just like brighter green. And then we're going to go down here. Oh no, that was the wrong one. That We actually had that looking good. Okay, now we're going to modify this to be a little bit more... Uh... There we go. And I, I know, I know this isn't very accurate when it comes to like the amount that's like all desert and stuff. Oh, you know what? Down here we actually have quite a bit. It's just spinning in the wrong direction so you can't see it. So that isn't that bad. And then we're just going to give it some water to be accurate. And once we have this water, uh, we'll give it an ocean because that actually drowns out a lot of the... Uh, tan and it actually makes it a bit more even and then we're going to give it some uh, nice temperature something that'll make it not frozen and look at that there we go that actually doesn't look completely off um I'm going to say that's accurate enough for me okay continuing onward um sorry I had to make a little cut there okay so we're just going to go name it North America and there we go uh, and we're going to go to uh, temperature find the atmosphere mass and one atmosphere or surface pressure we're gonna put to one atmosphere which will give it the right amount of um, uh, nah, nah, atmosphere <laughs> compared to Okay, so looking at the sizes of the continents, we can come to the conclusion that North America is actually pretty much in the middle, so we're going to use this as our comparison point for all the other ones. So now what we're going to do is we're going to position lock this. Position, position lock, uh, position lock on. There we go, now it will move. Now we're going to add our second planet which we're going to put way over here so that it doesn't annoy uh, North America at all. The rush limit won't cause them to kill each other. We're going to go here. We're also going to go to motion and we're going to position lock that too. Just make sure they aren't messing with each other when it comes to temperature. Nope, they aren't. And so we are good. This one's spinning rather fast, uh, but whatever. And let's, f well, make the next continent, which I guess we will go for South America now, because, you know, South America's next. And looking at South America, South America is actually all pretty much lush green, except for a tad of um, brownish tan up in the mountains. So, uh, let's, let's do that. Um, not much water, though. Whereas America has the Great Lakes, um, South America actually just basically has the Nile is the only thing really visible from space. Um, but that's, I mean the Amazon. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, the Nile is in, where is that? that? That's actually in Africa, I'm pretty sure. I just completely mess up the names of those rivers but it's okay uh what i meant was the amazon is in south america and that's basically the biggest body of water i see in it just looking at google earth so we're just gonna have to go with that 
and let's start making it. So, first off, the tops, like I said, are the tannish colors. <sighs> it's really hard to get the right color on this color picker. Not, not trying to be complainy, but uh... <laughs> Right around here-ish. Yeah, that that looks good enough, I guess. Um, let's go for color number two, which would of course be the darkish green. And color number three will be a different shade of green. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks like a giant, like, rainforest. And we'll give it some water, too. And... There we go. And this will be South America. Uh, once again, not perfect. Closest I can get with this update. Um, you know, <laughs> doing the best I can with what I have. And then we're going to just name this South America because now we have North America and South America. How great. And we're just going to go to temperature, go to that atmospheric pressure, go to one atmosphere, and now it's going to have an atmosphere equivalent to uh, North America over here. And we're going to jump back over to South America. Boop. South America's looking good, and uh, let's look at comparatively how big it is. It's slightly smaller than North America, so how big is this? Uh, 59 moons, 65. Actually, this is correct when it comes to size, so I think we're just going to keep it how it is. Slightly smaller. Yay, now we have two continents done. Let's go for the third. Now, we're going to do, um, let's go for Europe, be oh shoot, let's do Europe next, because Europe is pretty similar to these two, and let's zoom in, and I know Europe kind of has a very differing, uh, actually, nah, it looks pretty much the same, actually. <laughs> It's a little bit more of a boring, like, depressing green. Not as vivid as South America. But, you know, still green because plants. And, uh, not much tan, really. So, let's do it. Uh, Europe. Europe. And once we go here, we're just going to quickly grab that kind of boring green. Oh, wait, not for the top. The, the tops for Europe. Meh. Honestly, I don't see any white-topped mountains at all in Europe. Um, Actually, no, there is a little bit, I guess, right around Switzerland. So, I, I guess we'll give it some because, you know, at least one continent has to have some cool snow caps. So, we'll give it to Europe. And then we're going to go for color number two, which will be this kind of boring green. And then color number three is going to be a lighter green, maybe. Kind of a tannish, greenish. Yeah. And then water. <laughs> then water. Um, where's water? And Europe has a lot of water because it's basically all ripped apart so we're going to well it's kind of like unlike America and South America where they're kind of contained shapes like Italy kind of juts out and stuff so we'll just reflect that by giving it a lot of water also this is like two earths we're gonna have to slightly change that because although it's big it, it's not that big um that one was 65 moons was North America so Europe will just set to uh, 65, we'll just set this to like 75, and we're going to give it an atmosphere very quickly, 
surface pressure, atmosphere, one atmosphere, bam. Look at that. Beautiful. So now we have... Did I position lock it? I could have sworn I... Oh, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. It's position locked now. That's all that matters. Um, so now we have Europe. We have South America. Which... Lost all of its water. No, North America is doing fine over here, but uh, South America, what happened? Oh, you've heated up extremely. Probably because of Europe there, uh, kind of melting you with the Roche limit. We'll just put Europe back over here, and are you gonna cool down over time now that <laughs> it's gone? Or like, shoot, there we go. Y you look nice again. Look, you look perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, so next up, what are we gonna do? We're going to go for, uh, hmm. Well, we have a few choices. Um, we already have Australia, so let's just add Australia in. Uh, Australia. Australia is pretty small, too. There we go. Here's Australia. And this was from the last episode. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. Ta da! Here we have Australia, which is actually probably the most accurate one when it comes to looks. Um, even looking on Google Earth, it's just like reddish orange with a bit of green. And then, what? what is that noise? I need to figure out what's causing that feedback. That's annoying. It's happened twice now. Um, I never gave it an atmosphere though. Poor thing. Let's give it one atmosphere of atmosphere. And let's just go to here, uh, just name it Australia, oh, Australia, and this is going to be, because it's really small, we're going to say 45 moons, ta-da, so now we have four of the seven continents, that means we only need three more. Okay. Oh, wait. I did not position lock this. Bam. And now if we go to planets. Random rocky planet. We're going to... Let's do Africa next, since that's actually slightly different from all the other ones. Um, it doesn't look exactly the same. Although, I guess Antarctica doesn't look exactly the same either. So, let's just go motion, position lock on, and let's look at Africa. Um, so, Africa is about half tan and desert and about half dark lush green. So, how are we going to do half and half? That's a great question. Um, this is going to be kind of tricky, actually. So we'll make the tops tannish, the middle dark greenish, and then the bottom tannish. Oh, that actually worked perfectly. That looks kind of pink. There we go. Look at that. That actually doesn't look half bad. Um... And let's just quickly give it a little bit of water. Heat it up a bit. And that looks about good. Now let's just give it a nice little atmosphere. And there we go. That would be Africa as a planet. Although it does look a little bit too green. It's a little bit more than half green, but there's not much we can do about that. Because it's honestly because the water is covering it, which we can get rid of some of the water. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And that looks good. So let's go on to... 
Wait, how many do we have now? Five. We're five in. And I did position lock this, correct? Okay, so it's not going to kill everything. Oh, we really do need to name this, though. Africa. Ta-da! And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And now we have two more to go, which are Asia and Antarctica. So let's go to Asia. Dang it. I made that mistake again. Where did it even go? Oh man, it went out really far. Jeez. Okay, pause it again. And we're just going to put this all the way over here. And let's name it Asia. Ta-da. Oh, wait. I forgot to size Africa. Um, 61 moons. That's actually about perfect, so I'm not even going to bother with that. And Asia. The biggest one. We'll just do the size first, actually. We'll just give it, like, 80. Because <laughs> Asia is really big compared to all the other continents. Um, and... This actually is going to look a bit different because we have a lot of ice actually because of like Russia up on top in parts of China. And then we, oh, this is really just like everything. Jeez. Okay, so we're going to have the ice caps on top and then we're going to have the green, the nice green, and then... We're also going to have the tan deserts because this is kind of overall everything. Probably because it's so big, it just kind of has so many different environments. And that, uh, I think the green needs to be a little bit darker, honestly. There we go, that looks pretty good. And we're just going to add a bit of water. That actually looks pretty much perfect. So let's switch that to the 50 degrees we want. Uh, did I position? I didn't position lock this. Great. It's been flung pretty much all the way over there. But it's fine. We'll just move it back. And ta-da. Should be around there. Now we're going to just quickly give it an atmosphere. Surface pressure atmospheres one. Ta-da! And now we have one left, which is Antarctica. And Antarctica is going to be probably the easiest. Right here, we're just going to go right to the... Oh, wait. Antarctica is actually the biggest continent, technically. Oops. I was slightly wrong. I have just realized that I was wrong. It's okay, though. I corrected myself. And we're just going to set this to, like... 83. Because why not 83? 83 is a good number. That, that works fine. And we're actually going to leave this really cold. <laughs> um, we're going to give it a little bit of water. It's going to be mostly ice, actually. And then the colors, we're going to have the smallest thing be green. Because there is actually a tiny bit of green. Just like a very, very, very small... No, not really. In the summer, there is just a tiny bit of green, but not really enough that... Uh, I was actually editing that. Let's see if I can get it to be such a small amount. This should be, like, white. This should be gray. Oh, jeez. Um, that looks kind of weird, actually. There we go. That looks 
right, and uh, the top color, yeah, that looks about right, actually. And that's Antarctica. And let's just go to temperature. Oh, it actually has an atmosphere. Wow. And we're just going to give it one atmosphere. And that looks good. Okay. That's it. That's that's all seven continents. Um, Let's quickly position lock. And let's look at them all. So we've got North America. And then we have South America. And then we have Europe. And then we have Australia, which is still my favorite just because it looks so different. Um, then we have Africa. We have Asia. And last but not least, we have Antarctica. Okay, so who wants to see them all try to kill each other? Let's just save every single one. Save. Save. I just saved that, so North America. Save. Save. Just go in order. Save, 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 save. Okay, so once these are all saved, we are going to put them all in the same simulation. Okay, so we're gonna do new and pause and put all of these in. Let's go to user objects and we have Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, where is North America and South America? There's North America and South America. Okay, so this is it, the Battle of the Continents. And here we go. I'll leave them labeled so you can actually tell which one it is. I'm going to get rid of trails, though. Oh, they're all position locked. Shoot, I forgot about that. We do have to actually unposition lock them because it actually saves that. Probably got pretty warm though, being so close to each other. The rush limit probably did kick in a little bit. Just slow this down again, and now they should be moving. If I speed it up. Slightly. It's okay that they're all freezing, because they won't be freezing for long. <laughs> okay, so who will hit who first? It looks like Europe is going to hit Africa. Yep. Definitely. So let's slow this down. Okay, so Europe is absolutely annihilating Africa. And actually, um, Asia is coming into the equation now. Asia is eating what's left of Europe. And it looks like Antarctica is going to eat North America. And that's going to happen any second now. And there we go, a nice little explosion. And now North America slash Africa is going to have to basically eat everything else to actually be competitive against Asia, who now basically has the mass of three continents combined. And it kind of has a happy face going on, oh, at least from that side. Um, let's quickly go to actions and let's do zero velocity zero velocity and those are fine but now they're basically gonna start going back towards each other I said zero velocity <laughs> okay so let's see 
if uh, Asia will actually win. Oh, those two actually crashed into each other. I was not paying attention to that. So now what's left here is South America. And the battle we've been waiting for, Asia versus Antarctica. I think Antarctica actually has the upper hand here. And who will win? Oh man, that was a very, very close uh, flyby. See, if Asia were able to eat South America, then it would probably win. But nope, Antarctica's taking the extra mass. And this is it. Asia versus Antarctica. The last battle. Who will win? I think it's pretty obvious. Oh, this is actually really close. I can't tell. Oh, and the winner is... Uh, Antarctica that that's what I thought so the biggest continent did win in the end but it could have actually went different ways um and there's a lot of fragments left but you know what's left over this is practically earth now <laughs> though I think it's a bit bigger than earth yeah it's like 2.31 earth um oh it would have been perfect if I made them all add up to one earth wouldn't it have been uh wait what colors did it keep then Oh, it kept Antarctica's colors. So now Earth is just very cold. So, um, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you have any cool ideas for future episodes, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you all next time.